What is going on, comic book community? Welcome back to an episode of Josh's Comics. In today's haul, we're going to check out my South Jersey Comic Con haul. Over the weekend, I went and uh, we picked up another pile of books. It's going to be a nice haul. I can't wait to show you guys what I picked up, so stay tuned for this next episode of Josh's Comics. Welcome back, guys. Uh, before we get into the haul, do me a quick favor. Hit that like button and please subscribe if you haven't. Even hit the bell notification button to get notified of future videos. It helps me out a lot on the channel, and I appreciate everybody who's been doing so and who has subscribed and who has watched, commented, and left a like. Appreciate you guys so much. Um, and as you can see, jumping into the haul before we get there as well, you can see from the video, it was a nice little local con. Not too big, not too small. Uh, had had just the right amount, I thought, of a local show. Um, books from any range, from golden up to modern, all over the place. Um, price stuff, dollar bin stuff, deals were made. It was a great weekend, and um, I can't wait to show you guys what I got. Let's start off. Um, so, Vanstein Comics is the host of this event. And they were giving out, for the first 100 people in line, and a lot of people did show up, um, got a comic pack. There's like six books in this little comic pack, and, I mean, it's just like, it's a, it's just like a bunch of different small issues with different runs. Nothing really to take out and show. Um, still, but the thought, it was nice, and, um, I know there were some kids in line, and they appreciate getting those, so. Great show, like I was saying. Uh, let's jump into the hall. The first person I want to mention for this vendor, um, Connor's Comics. He's a great YouTuber, by the way. He's on here as well. He does haul videos for comics and toys and collectibles. Great guy. He was set up. I checked out his booth. He had some great stuff for sale. Um, and his bins were really great, too. And he had some great wall stuff. I wasn't into buying wall stuff this show. This is more of a budget-friendly comic haul. Uh, my goal was to spend less than a hundred dollars. We'll talk about that the end of the show. So start or keep up with the math while I'm doing this, and you might be able to find out. Yeah, but you'll find out either way. Uh, Batman: The Long Home Special Number One, great cover, only five dollars. Um, there's two different versions on Key Collector, and they look completely the same to me. This one might be the five dollar one, or it might be like the and dollar one, whatever it is. But so, um, it's a reprint of the Long Halloween number one, but it has the great cover art featuring the Batman from 2022. I'm really happy to pick this up. I think I already have a copy of this. I may hear that. It might be another Batman uh, special edition of another one, but great cover featuring, you know, a great movie. I, I can't wait for part two. Um, the other book I picked up from him, um, issue number two, Black Widow. Surprisingly, issue number three has a little bit more value, and I don't know why I didn't grab that with it. I probably should have. Probably will next time, though. Um, I guess you would say it's like the second, or well, maybe third appearance of uh, Ivana, if I'm pronouncing her name right, the sister of Black Widow. Great cover featuring the girls. Um, Batman issue number 118. From volume three, I believe, and I thought this was a different issue. I thought this was um, I I want to say it's Batman seven twelve maybe. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it's a similar cover, and it features three different stories featuring Bruce Wayne as Batman, Damian Wayne, and Dick Grayson, I believe, as three different stories, um, past, present, and future. Um, not the book, but still a great one to have. Um, nice little appearance of the Abyss is great appearance. You know me, I always love Batman anyway. And the last book I picked up from him, uh, this is a cool one. Star Wars guy, you'll see more towards the end. Uh, Star Wars Obi-Wan and Anakin, issue number one. And this is a five-issue run that just tells different stories 
uh, of Obi Wan being the master um, with his apprentice Anakin, and you know, build out more of that relationship and give us some more stories and featuring them. I, I would love to see. I mean, probably couldn't do live action, and we do have the Clone Wars, so technically you get it. But I love seeing the the pre, you know, master and apprentice relationship between Anakin and Obi Wan. And not not foreshadowing anything, just having a good time, just learning off of each other. So great pick up there. This has actually a little bit of value into it, into it, but um, I'm happy to have this. And it's Charles Soul, by the way, too, who's a right, great writer, great Star Wars writer too. Moving on, uh, this next vendor had uh, tons of five dollar bins, and it was buy one get one free. So I picked up I think eight books total. Uh, so I essentially got four books. I, well, I paid 20 bucks and I got eight books. So um, we'll start off. They had a price tag of 20 on this. This book, I know, I'm pretty sure is not. I could be wrong, but it's a variant. It's American Chavez made in the USA. A variant for issue number four. Um, Origin of Her and Her Sister. Issue number three is the first appearance of her sister, if I'm not mistaken. That's a bit more pricey, but... And uh, some of the variants in issues three and one, I think, which they may have had in the bins. I made a mistake about that. I made a few other mistakes we'll probably talk about in the end of the video, if I remember. Um, but whenever you're going into bins, and if you think you found something or you, you, you can't exactly remember, just pull it out. When you get done going through everything, you can look at the books you pulled. And if you realize, oh, okay, this isn't something that I need or something on my, my list or something like that. Has a value into it. No problem. You can put it back. I made that mistake. So I probably lucked out on some things. So great variant there. Um, my lady, uh, my my love for the ladies of Marvel and DC. You you know it. It happens. And this is an Adam Hughes cover. T Hawk issue number one variant. Love it. Love Adam Hughes. And like I said, he he draws the ladies better than anybody else. Um, surprisingly, this doesn't have a whole lot of value behind it, and I'm fine with that. But like, Adam Hughes covers it, it's 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 insane because some of the Wonder Woman covers are considered keys and high value compared to some of the other ones that are even better looking. I feel like, and they're not considered keys or high value. It's it's weird. A great Adam Hughes artwork. Um, speaking of She Hawk, issue number two from the Dan Slot run. Not a key, but I picked up issue one and I decided, hey, great cover, why not? We will pick up issue number two and add it into the collection. Um, issue number four, couldn't find three, surprising, but issue number four, great cover featuring Spider Man and She Hawk. It is a, um, it's like a 10, between like a 10, 12 dollar book, maybe, depending on where you go, due to the Spider Man being on the cover. Pretty cool. Like I said, this is great. Great artwork, great cover. Uh, I picked up two copies of this, and I'll tell you why. Um, so this is the first cameo appearance of Red Claw, and it, it is a great uh, Catwoman and Harley Quinn cover. I'm keeping a copy for myself. These both are new, man. I'm keeping a copy, and um, we're doing a 5,000. Or, not a 5,000. We will be doing one eventually if we get there. I'm doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. We are like... I think less than maybe 10 away from hitting 500 subscribers. So one of these books will be going into that pile. Uh, I'm going to be getting together a few other keys from the collection. And we're going to be doing that. So one of these will be in there. So that's why I decided to double dip and pick those up. Essentially buying one, getting one free. And the last two books. Um, this is a really great cover. Alex Ross is another one of my favorite artists and cover artists. If I could have Alex Ross draw everything I want to read, that dude would be rich. I mean, he's already rich. Don't get me wrong, but man, I would have I would have Alex. If we could have Alex Ross art for every run of every comic, I, I would totally read everything. Uh, Justice Society of America issue number twenty five from May of two thousand and nine. The Jeff Johns run, all Alex Ross cover art, and I believe maybe also art inside interior. Um, this is a cover featuring Miss Mary, um, in the Black Adam family. 
or the Black Marvel family, as you would say, uh, but Black Adam's side of the family, not Jazam's. I'm assuming she splits up from Jazam in the family and joins Black Adam. I don't know how much about this run, but they've got some great covers throughout the whole run by Alex Ross, and some important cues, honestly, too. So I decided to pick that up. It's a great cover. Um, and the last book I picked up from this vendor, this, I, I've been trying to find Chip Zdolsky Daredevil for a while, and I just, I can find volume two, and I do have volume twos, like one, one through 23, I think. Um, but I want to find volume one more because they have some of the nicer keys in there and good covers, and that's hard to do. But this is, I think, issue three. Yeah, what well, is issue three? I think it's from the volume two run. It's a nice variant featuring Daredevil and Electra. So, why, why not? I can't wait for the Chips, uh, Chips of Dulce, uh, Volume 1, obviously, of his uh, uh, Omniverse for his run on Daredevil. I, I can't wait to read that this year, man. That's, that's high on my list. Um, moving on to this last vendor. He also had some great books. He had Price's Mark, uh, Wall Books, of course. He had Alex Ross, like a bin of different artists, Art Graham, Alex Ross, Adam Hughes, you name it. Uh, he he had some, I want to say five or six bins, maybe even seven. Five dollar every book was five dollars in there. Okay, I think the deal was buy five, uh, get five books for twenty, or you know if you bought four books, it's twenty, or you get an extra book free if you get five, right? But I love when people do deals like that, and I'm thinking, I right, what am I gonna find? Like right, what am I gonna find in that? Five dollars stuff. Well, I found some good stuff. Starting off with Batman Detective Comics number eight seventy five. Not a key, but a great cover, um, featuring Jim Gordon and his son, who uh, foreshadowing there, but would eventually become a baddie, the uh, serial killer. Moving on, this is a really cool issue I've been wanting to get for a while. Batman Detective Comics issue number eight eighty one. This is the final issue in the original Detective Comics run from 1937 to 2011. Final issue. Happy to own it. Uh, it you know, to think about from 1937 over to 2011, to think about the first appearances, the storylines, the artwork, uh, the, the artists, the writers that were on this title. It's amazing to think about. And I believe we're on Detective Comics Volume 3 now, currently, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. Um, but still, great book to own. You know, last issue in the in the first run. Uh, something that I felt like I needed to have for the collection. For five bucks near mint. I mean, that's, that's a bit of a pricier $10, $15 book. This other book I was surprised to find, looking over it now, it does have a few spy ticks, but I'm completely fine with that. Um, Avenging Spider-Man, issue number 10. And this is the third appearance of Harold Denvers as Captain Marvel. I think issue 8 is her first appearance, and issue 9 is her second, if I'm not mistaken. I do have her first appearance. It was a 9.8 slab. Um... My buddy Joe's from 360 Comics did a trade. The slab was like when he got it though, it came with the 9.8 label. Um, the slab was bought from another gentleman and was cracked, so he uncracked it. And Joe showed it to me, and he still says, you know, it's very minty 9.8. Um, so I'll be sending that in in the future, obviously, to get that regraded. But so, um, you can actually find her second and third appearance usually sometimes in. Five ten dollar bins or even dollar bins. If you look hard enough, you can find these books. So keep an eye out for these. Um, never know when you may find them. Uh, these next two books, Star Wars. No matter how you feel about Disney Star Wars, is what it is. Um, <laughs> hits and miss, kind of like the MCU. You know, they have some good stuff. They have some decent stuff, and then they have some bad stuff. Um, this is cool, though, and, uh, surprisingly, they're not high print runs, because not a lot of people bought them, um, but The Rise of Kylo Ren, issue number two, great cover, featuring 
Ben Solo, who at the time, and then comes Kylo Ren, and then Luke Skywalker. Obviously, the origin of Ben Solo, and it's also the first mention of the High Republic. Very cool. Um, all issues, I think issue three is the one you run in the run, if I'm not mistaken. That is a first appearance of a, I don't think a Jedi Master, but somebody else. Um, and I think the Knights of Kylo Ren also first appear. Was that maybe in the, I might be in the first Awakens comics, but still great, great issue. And, uh, surprisingly right along behind it, same book, but third printing. Uh, great, you know, I, I love how the lightsaber, I love how it's back and glory stuff for the lightsabers, right? Um, love that, but this is also very limited. There was only 3,893 copies ordered by retailers, so it's a smaller print run, so it's got just about the same, if not a little bit more value behind it. Um, I know it's a modern book, but still, I think there's less than 4,000 copies out there. And as time goes on, be like other books, like this will probably, you won't see it as much. So, great pickup there for these two. Um, they had issue four, I want to say, and maybe, uh, I think they had issue four and a couple of the variants. I probably, I, I made, like I said, we'll talk about it at the end. I made, I made a few mistakes, some books I missed out on. Um, second to last book, this is a cool one. This is one that's hard. If you don't know it, you'll pass it up. If you do know it, you'll grab it. I'm following Son, the death of Captain America. Issue number four variant. And uh, Pope of Chili Town, shout out to him, told me about this book months ago. And I already picked up a copy from him. But when I saw this at $5 near Mint, uh, it was a no-brainer to me. Some people probably are looking and thinking, all right, well, what's, what is it? I've never heard of it. Well, here's the thing. On Key Collector... When you first go on, it's always strictly you're looking at just the keys. So only, only, you know, um, series that have keys in it will pop up. So just the keys itself. But you can hit the uncheck box. So that way, if you want to look at every single issue of, say, Detective Comics, you can look at all 800 and something issues. Same thing with other ones. Well, Key Collector also does it where, like, I've seen some books like this is a key. But they don't note it under the significance. So you have to uncheck it and regularly look up Fallen Sun's Death of Captain America. Go through the variants and you'll find it. Also the same thing with some price of your newsstands and second print. Moving on from there though. This is a cool little key. I think it's undervalued. And underappreciated. And not many people know about it. So hopefully people will maybe go out and start talking about it a little bit more. Not for spec-wise or making the price go up. I, I just feel like it's a book that, if you're a fan of these characters, be on the lookout for it. Pick it up. It's a really cool key. Um, so it's the first cover appearance featuring uh, Clint Barton and Kate Bishop. Okay. But it's also the first unofficial meeting of both of them. See, in this issue, at the death of Captain America, Clint takes up the mantle or wears the suit of Captain America. Kate meets him. Kate believes it's Steve Rogers, Captain America, and doesn't realize or know that it's actually Clint underneath. So even though he knows who she is, she doesn't know it's him. So it's considered their first unofficial meeting. But technically, it's the first meeting. Okay. So you can say, and I know, we go by based off of what the community says or CGC on the labels. I still think it's a really great underrated key. And um, I, I highly recommend if you ever see this, pick it up, add it to the collection. The last book, I, again, I, uh, and Key Collector, you know, by the way, I'm not sponsored by them. I wish I was, but I'm not. Um, I always go through Key Collector for a few hours during the week. I'm always memorizing pictures and covers sometimes. And that's how I recognize this book. I wasn't sure of the significance. I knew it had something to do, uh, had some kind of key sentence behind it, but I couldn't remember what. Um, but this is a cool cover. Um, Avengers issue number 35 from the Hickman run. Now, some seasonal collectors might know automatically what book this is um, and what the, what the significance is. So it's the first cover appearance of Sam Wilson as Captain America in the uniform. 
However, he is not officially in the story. He doesn't appear in the book at all. It's just on the cover. But it's his first cover appearance. However, it's the second cameo appearance and first cover appearance of Superior Iron Man. Uh, who knows if the Superior Iron Man will show up. I mean, Secret Wars is coming up. Tom Cruise could be back in the running. Robert Downey Jr. could return as a variant. Who knows? Will we ever see Superior Iron Man? I'm not sure. I know that book during uh, Multiverse of Madness shot up and shot down quick. Um, that's why, you know, when it comes to spec, man, it, it's it's a dangerous game. Sometimes it plays off, sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, um, it's a great book, great cover, and it's got a little nice significance behind it. So it was great picking up. Um, so some of the books I missed out on this vendor, he also had $10 stuff. Uh, you know, I looked in there and I was I was on a budget and I was trying to stay under. Um, it kills me because there were some good books in there I should have picked up. And I might get hate for this, but Invincible Iron Man number one, which is the first uh, issue of Ironheart in her first solo. Um, not her first appearance, but her cover appearance, I don't think, but her first solo run. Bit of a bit of a, you know, twenty, thirty dollar book, depending on where you go, especially in nine eights. We know her show's coming out, I think next year or later this year maybe. Um they had like three, four, five copies of that in there. I probably should have picked up at least one for the collection. Don't know I didn't. And then they had another one, um which was the first official uh, Tony Shark is AI Intelligence with the Doctor Doom cover on there. Um, had a few issues I should have picked up, and I just I don't know, guys. I I don't know what I was thinking. I I don't know, but um, missed out on some. Hopefully, I'll see this vendor again soon, and I can get some of his books for a good price. But other than that, it was a good con. Um, I had a good time. Oh, and then going back to what I was saying earlier, if like I said, if you guys ever pick up books. You think they're worth something, or you, you you think it's something that you need, or put, just pull it out. You can always put it back at the end when you're done paying. Um, speaking of paying, I went in on a hundred dollar budget. I usually go to most cons with a hundred dollar budget, and uh, I stayed on a budget. I paid sixty dollars total. Oh wait, yeah, I paid about sixty dollars total with entry fee um, for these books. Again, most of these books, I'm not even, a lot of these books are um, first time going to the PC or f upgrades, but I'm also going to be using some of these for that 500 subscriber giveaway. So please, guys, hit that like button if you haven't. Please subscribe. Hit the bell notification button. I would really appreciate it. To all my subscribers who have been watching, appreciate every single one of you. Um, uh, a lot of my stuff's doing good. I'm getting a lot of views, a lot of likes. And uh, I'm having fun. I'm you know I'm loving the comments and talking to everybody. I actually met quite a few new people over the weekend at the South Jersey Con um, from the channel. So that's a big plus. Love meeting you guys. If if you're local or if you're at the cons, come say hi to me. I'm I'm I would love to talk to everybody. Come talk. Let's hang out. The whole thing. Um. So yeah, 500 subscriber giveaway. We're close. We're like I don't know, less than 10 people I think away from hitting that. Um, I'll be in, even even if we hit 500 before I can announce it. Trust me, we'll be doing it. I'll, I'll let you guys know and explain the rules and how you can enter. Um, Back to Comic Fest is this Saturday. I'm recording this on Tuesday. This video is dropping Thursday, uh, Saturday. Weather permitting, of course. I think it's gonna be good. I think we're gonna the rain's gonna be not here. We're gonna do a Back to Comic Fest in Glenslide, PA. Check out 360 Comics on Instagram. He has uh address, he has the date, the time from 10 to 2 p.m. It's gonna be a great time. Free, of course, on the back deck, him and a few other local sellers. Golden age to modern age, dollar books, price stuff, you name it, it'll be there. Free refreshments, of course, and uh you truly will be there. See you surely, but I mean, I'm not the big attraction. But I will be giving out 10 free books to the first 10 people online. So if you can show up, come on out, say hi, hang out. You don't need to buy anything. There's no admission price. Come in, just hang out, talk comics. It's going to be a good time. So guys, um, I appreciate it. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching if you stayed this long. Another great successful haul. 
I stayed under the budget. I'm happy with that. Um, added some great books to the collection. Let me know what you guys think about the haul. So until next time, stay safe, take care of each other, and as always, we will see you guys on the next episode of Josh's Comics.